All right, in this video, I want to explore an idea called rational exponents. Now, when you hear the word rational, you can sort of think in your mind fractional. Rational, we're typically talking about something that looks like a fraction. All right, and exponents, obviously, you all should know what, what an exponent is. So, to lead into rational exponents, I want to look at this example. So, this here is the square root of y to the sixth. And if we wanted to simplify that, um, this is what we would do. Back when we learned about square roots, um, we talked about how there's, there's a 2 here, we just never write it. Okay? And if you were to simplify y to the 6th, what you could do, the square root of y to the 6th, is you could list out y, 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 so 6 y's, and you'd look for, you would look for pairs of y's. So there's one pair of y's here, one, two, three pairs of y's. And so you would get down to that it was... Um, the square root of y to the sixth is equal to the square root of, um, oh no, not the square root because it's three pairs. There's three pairs of y, so you would just get um, y to the third. Okay. Now, a shortcut then from that is we said, well, okay, this one way to get to simplify this quickly is just to take the power here and divide it by the root, six over two. So in other words, we could write this as y to the sixth over two. That would give us y to the third. So it turns out that leads us into a property. Um, I'll give you one more example before I give you the formal rule. But for instance, if you had um, the cubed root of x to the 16, you could simplify this by, actually, that's a bad one. Let's do x to the 18. You could simplify this by taking x to the 18 over 3. And so that would end up being x to the Sixth. And so in general, what we can do then is we can write this. Our rule is the y root of b to the x is going to be equal to b to the x over y. We always take the power over the root. All right, and so sometimes this is really helpful especially as the algebra problems get um, more complicated, it can sometimes be helpful to get out of this root notation and into the rational exponent. You can see this is a fraction in the exponent. Rational exponent form. Okay, so let's just practice with a couple of these. And by the way, this works in both ways too. So you can take something like, um, you know, the cubed root of x to the 18th and write it as x to the 18 over 3. You can also go the other way. So you can also take 27 to the 1 third, for example, Here's your power is 1, your power is 1, and your root is 3. And so you can write this as the cubed root of 27, the third root of 27 to the 1 power, or just the cubed root of 27. Right. And um, I'll show you one more of these, I guess. Let's look at one where you've got a negative exponent. So if you had 81 to the negative 1 fourth, Remember, a negative exponent means you put this, um, you put this expression in the denominator with a positive power or positive exponent. So it looked like this: one over eighty-one to the one fourth. And you still have the same principle hold. So the power is on top and the root is on the bottom. So this would be one over the fourth root of eighty-one to the one power. You don't need to write the one in the exponent if you don't want to. Okay. From this, you can also simplify expressions that have rational exponents. So, for instance, if you had x to the 2 ninths times x to the 7 ninths, well, you can just take and add the exponents because you have the same base here, so you can multiply pow you're multiplying powers, so you can just add exponents. So that's going to equal x to the 9 over 9, which is just x to the 1. You don't need to write the one if you don't want to. Um, all the other exponent properties or power properties apply as well. So if you had like x to the two thirds, and you had that raised to the one fourth, you could take and with power to a power, you multiply the exponents. So we would multiply these two fractions together. And so to, uh, when you multiply fractions, you multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. So you would have x raised to the two times one, which is two over the 3 times 4, which is 12. That equals x to the 1 sixth.
and um, yeah, there's nothing else we can simplify with that. Um, and so that's how this works. So basically, once you've got it turned into a rational exponent, you can apply all of the same exponent properties that we've we learned previously. Um, and that's that's sort of it. Just being able to translate between the two different forms and then applying the properties when um, when it's useful or appropriate or to simplify. And um, that's everything for rational exponents.